Hello, this is tutorial number seven, and I'm gonna be showing you about while loops. So let me zoom in here. Okay, now basically the the while loop has the same syntax as the if statement. So you have while your argument, at, or some people have to call it expression, and then you have your statement. And just like a if statement, you don't need the braces if you only have one statement. But if you have more than one statement, you need the braces. Now, how a while loop works is it goes and checks if the argument or the expression is true. If it is, it goes through here, then it does a statement. Once it reaches the end of it, when it reaches the brace or the end of the one statement, it's like, oh, I gotta go back to the top. So it goes all the way back to the top checks if the argument or the expression is true if it is then it loops and it keeps on looping until the argument or the expression is false so when it's not true so an example would be while number is equal to 10 then you put c l x now in this case it would be an infinite loop which means it will loop forever because there's nothing changing the value of 10 so then does the loop will be like x x x x x x x x x x because nothing's changing the number um the value of number now even if i did number equals 5 over here it wouldn't matter because the loop only contains things looping inside of it so just keep on looping it does not go through the rest of the code once the loop is done then it executes the rest of the code so I'd have to put like number equals 5 in here and then it would put x once and then number would equal to 5 and then it would just end so then that's just the basics of um, the while loop so now we're going to implement this into our calculator program so let's do double num1 num2 result and then int choose and then you put c out c out enter number one this is just review from like the other the last tutorials then number one c out enter number two and then num2 then c out 1 add 2 subtract 3 multiply 4 divide sorry for typing this all out again oh uh, I should have like copied and pasted it and then then choose okay so now we're gonna make um a while loop so then we're gonna um we're gonna make a new variable called, it's a boolean the bool boolean really means true or false so it can only be true or false so we're gonna put done is equal to false so now we're gonna put while not done that means not so then not done so that means if done is false so you could you could also put if while done is equal to false then we're gonna put if choose no actually let's put this in here in the while loop if choose is equal to one then result equals oh no we should put all this in the in the while loop sorry so let's make this look a bit cleaner all right so result equals num1 plus num2 else if choose equals to result 
equals num1 minus num2 of f choose equals to result equals num1 times num2 of f choose equals 4 result equals num1 divided by num2 right so then after in the end it spits out the result um the result is and then you put result and then end line okay so now you want it that you give the user an option um if they want to do it again or not and this is when our loop comes into place so we're going to go back to the top and make another um one int yes no let's name it that and then we let them um, we will put a cout statement one to try again to to exit the program so basically we're going to get yeah, the input from the user so now this is where if statements come again so let's put if if yes no is equal to 1 then done um, is equal to false so it just stays false else so let's put if they don't put if they put a number other than one then they say done is equal to true and if done is equal to true then when it goes to check again so when it goes to the top and checks it's like oh does not equal to true then I don't loop it then it will go through the rest of the program which is return zero so let's test out this program Okay, enter number one, five, enter number two, three, um, I'm gonna put three to multiply, the result's 50, 15, one to try again, so one, I wanna try again, so ask me for number one, so eight, and four, and then four to divide is two, then I wanna try this again, so three, and four, one to add and it keeps on going until I press a different number so to the exit and then it exit my exits my program and then do, that's just the basics of a while loop so I showed you how to use it and I showed you how to implement it into a program so I hope you take this and practice it because loops are the foundation of programs also all the basics are the found foundations of any software or game you make you will need loops when you make games so or when you make any software so take this in account and practice hard so that's it for now bye